When there's a pitcher throwing gas, there's a different approach you have to have in order to be successful against them. So today we are going to talk about it because you will face pitchers who throw very, very hard and you need a plan that will give you the best results. So with that being said, let's jump into the behind the scenes training that I did with my students. But before we do that, if you find any value in this video, please hit the like button. It helps me reach more people and allows me to help younger players who want to get better. And if you're new here, consider subscribing because we have more content like this coming along with a lot of other cool stuff that I believe you will really enjoy. So definitely hit that subscribe button, which is right here and let's get into it. So welcome to the training, the hitting approach training. And today what we're gonna be talking about is hitting against fast pitchers. And the reason why I wanted to share this because yesterday I was watching a game. It was a high school exhibition game and the players that I don't coach, but I know that I wanted to support, they were facing you know, a pitcher that threw hard. And so they were going against him and they were just, you know, whiffing on him because he did throw hard for their level. So I wanted to help them. So I went to the side and I said, hey, guys, you guys are swinging at the pitch that you shouldn't be swinging at. You should be swinging at this pitch. And I shared with them the tip. And then, you know, a few innings later, they started hitting him. So that's what we're going to be talking about today and, and what i'm talking about is when the game started basically they were swinging at his pitch at the top of the strike zone and i know you guys right now are thinking to yourself well jermaine you always say look for the pitch up and you are absolutely right but when you're facing pitching that is very fast for your level you need to zone him down. The reason why is because at the top of the zone, they're putting more spin on the ball. Their fastball has more spin, and that's why you'll get this blur kind of effect when you're hitting, where you're not seeing the ball well, um, or you'll see, you know, a little rise. It's almost like the ball rises on you. And I know some of you guys are like, well, that's impossible. But when you're hitting and you're seeing some very, very fast pitching, you will literally see sometimes as like the ball rise it's because they're putting so much spin on the ball and hey i don't know much about physics or anything but i do know being in the batter's box that's what i see that's what other players i see when guys throw hard and this is why players at the mlb level are starting to throw more at the top of the zone they know that they're putting more spin on the ball and it's harder to hit um so that's why they're living up here and they're making a good living. You got guys like Garrett Cole, Trevor Bauer, and the list goes on. They're throwing the ball at the top of the strike zone, especially the fastball. Um, all speed pitches, I think there's, they're still staying down here, but when it comes to the fastball, they are pounding it at the top of the zone. So what we wanna do is zone them down. We don't want their fastball at the top of the zone. We want their fastball at the bottom of the zone. This way, it gives you a little angle that you can see the ball better, and that will allow you to hit it because you get more of an angle. At the top of the zone, it's gonna come in straight, and it's going to not give you that angle that you need to put to get on the plane of the ball. So we wanna zone in on a pitch down in the zone. And if you look at any player that threw hard, if they miss down, that's where they've gotten hit. If I find video of guys like Araldis Chapman, Garrett Cole, uh, Trevor Bauer, and you know the list goes on, if I can find pitchers that throw gas, I'm just going to include them so that you guys can see where they are, where MLB players are crushing them. And you're probably saying to yourself, well, they're MLB players, but this the same thing goes for you. You'll be able to crush them. And so going back to my story with the high school players, they were struggling because the kid was throwing his fastball up in the zone and he was throwing his curveball and you know it was good for his age but then 
as I talked to him, I said, hey guys, zone this guy down, look for a fastball down. So they started taking this and the umpire didn't give them these pitches, which, you know, that helps the hitter. And then he started zoning the ball down and then they started hitting them. They started hitting line drives. They started getting base hits, finding some holes. And eventually they got him out of the game. So this is just, you know, something I wanted to share because it was it was something that happened last night. And I think it would help you as a player. So if you're facing fast pitching, which, you know, you're going to face it sooner or later as you keep playing this game and you need to be able to be successful. You have to also be able to adjust your hitting strategy to get different results. So you can't have the same approach with the same pitchers all the time. Sometimes you're just going to have to change your approach majority of the time you can get away with thinking fastball up especially if it's normal speed but if you're facing different types of pitchers you have to change your approach and that's the beautiful thing and the most difficult thing about baseball you have to change your hitting approach and adjust to the game so the stuff that you're seeing right here is what i learned over my professional career in fact when i was playing with the cardinals when we would have pitchers meetings when all the players would sit around and we all would talk about each pitcher when it came to a all this Chapman everyone said we had to zone him down because his fastball looked like it was rising and he played at the top of the strike zone and you know he had I mean he was throwing 105 so he really didn't have that much opportunity but if you did zone him down that's where you were going to get your most success so I wanted to share that because that's what we talked about in the clubhouse at the major league level and it's something that is really really true as I went up my career facing very very hard pitching I just zoned them down and you were able to drive the ball and get your knocks and be successful and I truly believe that if you use this approach versus a pitcher that throws really really hard you're going to be much more successful you're going to get your extra base hits you're going to get your hits you're going to have competitive ab's you're going to have consistent quality of bats and you'll be that player that gets those hits gets those walks and looks like a ball player on the field when your other teammates are struggling to hit off the fast guys so so i want to thank you for watching all the way into the end if you've enjoyed this and found any value please hit the like button for me and consider subscribing. We have more content like this coming your way. In fact, we already have some content like this and I believe you would really like my other hitting approaches. So go ahead, check those out and please consider subscribing. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.